YouTube family, friends, and subscribers. This video is about using your generator to charge your battery bank in through through an inverter charger. Now today, the first test, I'm using a friend's generator that I've been working on. It didn't run, and uh, he had been using it five minutes a month and, and not loading it just kind of trying to run it a little bit each month and what he was doing was doing more damage than good if you don't load a diesel generator the injectors get what's called stacking and the carbon buildup will make them to the point where they won't even run so I got it fixed up and I'm load testing it for him it's running you can hear it in the background but I thought I'd show you the difference between uh, my generator and his generator even though his generator is rated at more continuous watts than mine I cannot get the power to the batteries uh, with his generator so here we see I've got 13 amps coming in from solar I'm in bulk mode the battery should be calling for bulk the inverter charger is showing that I'm in bulk mode and I should be getting 70 amps to the battery from the charger plus the 13 from the solar so I should be getting 83 amps right now and I'm only getting 24 I'll go down and show you the generator that I'm using to charge my batteries right now. This borrowed generator from a friend. I've been working on it. So I'll take you down there and show it to you. Got it in the back of my truck. It's a Titan 5500 watt. see that it's a Chinese knockoff to the Yanmar L70 so it's similar to mine but I'm only getting 10 amps to my batteries using that Titan but wait it says it's 5500 watts how come I can only get 10 amps to the batteries well it has this thing called a peak clip voltage so when you're using an inverter charger, you have to make sure you've got a generator that's designed with the right peak clip voltage to run your inverter charger. Unless you have one of these new fancy ones that's a PFC, a power factor corrected inverter charger, then you can use a smaller generator with a lower peak clip voltage. Now I'm going to fire this thing up and show you the difference. The other one up there we saw, we were only getting 10 amps out of it. So let me fire this up, switch it over to this diesel, and see what the difference is. My inverter will wait until it has clean power for 40 seconds when it does it'll switch over I usually get here in time right now you can see there's six amps from the solar there it just switched over to bulk mode now we'll see the amps climb diesels warming up it's loading it's running more clean should be a little over 80 So I'm getting 10 amps from the solar. So I'm getting 69.1 amps. And the other generator was only to, able to put out 10. The, my diesel, the military one, is rated at 3,000 watts military standard, which really means it's 4,000 watts. That Titan down there is rated at 5,500 watts and it can only get 10 amps to my batteries. Folks, this is important. When you go to charge your batteries using your inverter, you've gotta have the right generator. So make sure when you buy an inverter charger, make sure you get the right generator to power it that has a hot, sufficiently high peak clip voltage. So, I hope that helps somebody. Have a very blessed day.